Hey everyone, so welcome to Child of the Kingdom. Thank you so much for clicking back on my YouTube page. So today we're going to be doing a little advice segment and I haven't done this yet on my channel but I felt like it would be pretty cool to introduce this aspect of basically giving godly advice. So let's just go ahead and get right into this email. I was sent an email and a girl basically explained to me that she felt like she was the death of her friendship group. If you don't know what Duff is, basically it comes from this like popular term. There was even a movie called Duff. Duff is an acronym and it stands for Designated Ugly Fat Friend, so D-U-F-F. -F. And somebody actually sent me an email saying they felt like they were the Designated Ugly Fat Friend. So, and they were saying, you know, how do they eliminate this title, like what to do and things like that. So I just wanted to give my advice. Of course, my advice is in no way, you know, the ultimate advice, but it is advice nonetheless. So. Here's what I have to say about it. So my first question that I kind of want to pose to you is what advantage does anybody who's prettier than you have over you? That's the kind of area I was kind of confused about. I understand being in a group of people who you feel are physically attractive and feeling like you may not equate to this attractiveness, but what exactly does their attractiveness, how, how does that put you in a box of lesser than in terms of what's what your life is going to be like? I hope that makes sense. Um, how does anyone prettier than you really have an advantage over you? Like what what do they have over you and why do they have that over you? That's kind of what I wanted to talk about because I guess this can be misconstrued. So do they get more male attention? Are they going to be more successful in life because they're prettier than you? Are they going to have more opportunities because they're prettier than you? What exactly is it that 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 creates this problem that puts you in a box why are you being put in a box because you feel that other people are prettier than you or you feel that you don't match to a certain person's appearance everyone has different ways that they calculate beauty some people calculate beauty based on outer appearance some people calculate beauty based on in internal self based on you know your qualities and your attributes and things like that um but how are you calculating your beauty? How are you calculating their beauty? Is it because their eyebrows are always fluky or is it because they are such compassionate people? What exactly is making their beauty trump yours? So let's go through this list. The first thing I said on the list was, do they get more male attention? Now I know this, especially if you're a girl of this generation, this can be a really hard thing to deal with when you go out places or when you, I don't know, when you're in a social setting and you feel like other people get more male attention than you because obviously today's society is kind of construed around this idea of being wanted and be, having this appeal, this sex appeal that you're just wanted in every way, shape and form, right? So of course that can be a problem, but let's talk about it for a second. In life, you are always going to meet someone who's prettier than you. That's just what it is like as beautiful as you feel you are there's always going to be someone who's prettier than you someone else is always going to see somebody else to be prettier than you it's just the way life is god created all of us fearfully and wonderfully in his image so of course there's going to be someone else who's been created wonderfully in his image who is prettier than you that's just something we kind of have to accept in a sense we're all pretty in different ways our beauty is measured in different ways but of course you're going to come across one person who may have something that you don't and you may feel like they are more beautiful than you are that's life so if you're basing this i'm the duff of my group based on the fact that you don't get male attention and the other girls do i personally don't feel like that's enough to feel like you're a duff Honestly, I personally don't think that you should be putting so much energy, spending so much energy on putting and investing so much of your energy and your time into, you know, dictating and deeming yourself such a dismal title. To put that energy into something else. I don't feel like having male does not having male attention means that you're the death. And the reason I say this is because at the end of the day, we date to marry. And if you want to have a boyfriend so bad or want to have male attention so bad or whatever the case is, and you want it to be a long-term thing, you want it to be a lasting thing, the fact that you're pretty isn't really going to be enough to sustain anything. The fact that you're pretty on the outside isn't going to be enough to sustain anything. So if you're upset because a guy feels like he can't look at you and say, okay, I'm going to be with you, there, there really is no reason to be upset because that decision was never going to be secure. That love, that relationship was never going to be secure if it's based on outer, outer appearance. I want to share with you two Bible verses. The first one is 1 Samuel 16 verse 7 and it says, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. 
Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. The second Bible verse that I want to share with you is 1 Peter 3, verse 3 to 4. And it says, Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as braided hair and the wearing of gold jewelry and fine clothes. Instead, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is great worth in God's sight. So those are the two Bible verses I really wanted to share with you. And that kind of just kind of lets you know, the word kind of lets you know that sometimes we're basing beauty off of so many different things. Right now, today in society, we base beauty off the fact that, oh, you know, you have a certain skin color, you're wearing a certain type of makeup look, you have this and you have that. There's a certain something that makes you beautiful. But at the end of the day, who, who do we want to be the most satisfied with ourselves? Who do we want to look at us and be like, okay, I'm very content. Is it man or is it God? So obviously our, our purpose in life is to do things that are pleasing to God, to do things, you know, to give glory and praise to God. It's all kind of about God at the end of the day. So don't get so caught up in thinking, okay, no guy likes me because it's what am I doing to glorify God? What am I doing with the intent of praising God? What am I doing with the intent of representing God? That should kind of be what you, flows through your brain. When you kind of get that running, eventually someone is going to see all these qualities that you ha that you have, that you harbor in, in yourself, and they're going to be attracted to that. And that's what's going to pull you in something that is going to have longevity, something that's going to be secure, something that's going to be um, fruitful. And it doesn't even ha only have to be relationships. It could be anything. You feel like you're the duff of your group because you don't have as many friends as all your other friends do you don't get in um don't get the same opportunities as them don't i don't know there could be different reasons why you feel that way but it's the same idea focus your attention on god what am i doing right now what is my intent what what am i doing to glorify to represent the kingdom how is my relationship with god how am i representing him how can i be seen more beautiful to him it's all kind of about god it's not about what man thinks because man's we have trends we have trends. One day we like skinny jeans, the next day we don't. One day we like girls with braids, the next day we, we like natural hair. It just goes on and on and on. There isn't really this concrete type of definition of beauty. It's ever changing. And that can be that can be a problem. That can make you feel insecure and I completely understand that. But there's this thing that we have, this thing that we have inside of us that that is gonna make someone think we're beautiful and it's gonna be more than contour, more than contacts, more than the skinny jeans we're wearing. It's gonna be more than that. So my advice to the person who gave this, um, this email in is definitely to kind of think of it that way and in just instead of investing all this time into thinking you're a duck, instead of tainting your mind into thinking that you're lesser than all the time, instead of doing all these things to make yourself feel like, okay, I, I'm not worthy, I can't do this and I can't do that, instead of doing all of that, put all of that energy into bettering yourself, teach yourself something, learn something, have uh, new hobbies and build yourself and create who you wanna be and use that energy to like focus it in that instead of just thinking okay well i'm the deaf i'm ugly i'm she's prettier than me and she's prettier than me what can i do final thought about this duff title really um the person who sent me this email was really stressing the fact that they don't feel like they will have a partner they don't feel like they'll ever date they don't feel like anybody will ever like them because they think that they are just not beautiful and going out with their friends you know when all your friends are prettier than you you feel like all the attention goes to them so in this email there was a little bit of a stress on male attention that's why i'm addressing it but what I feel about that is, let's read the Bible again. Ecclesiastes 3.11 says, He has made everything beautiful in his time. Let's just stop there. He has made everything beautiful in his time. The word time is so important, you guys. The word time is so important because you are in a time where to me, it doesn't seem like you could even be in a relationship with anyone but yourself. I'm not calling you selfish. <laughs> no means am I calling you selfish. I'm saying that you need to work on yourself. You can't be with someone if you don't love yourself. You can't be with someone if you are calling yourself fat and ugly. It just doesn't work. It can't work. So maybe the problem isn't that you're fat or ugly, because I'm sure you're not. The problem is that you feel like you're fat and ugly. See, that's that's the, the catch here. Sometimes we just jail ourselves in our minds. You aren't what you're projecting yourself to be. What you need to do is pray to be released from this this tainting and trapping of the mind 
understand that you are not a duff believe that you are not a duff believe that god has released you from any kind of thoughts of being a duff because you are not a duff no one should have that title no one should claim that title openly and accept it you are not a duff okay accept that and understand that this is not the time for you to even maybe receive male attention maybe even receiving male attention would be your downfall at this current time this season of your life this is not the time this is the time for you to be bettering yourself to learn about yourself to explore your interests to explore what god has placed in you that's this is the time for that this is not the time for a relationship and maybe that's why god just hasn't allowed any male who's worthy enough to come into your life right now because you are prepared right now the scripture says everything is made beautiful in his time and we're supposed to meet someone who's our partner to compliment us that's kind of the purpose of being in a relationship the person's supposed to compliment you they're supposed to be your partner how can someone compliment you when you feel like you're ugly and fat if you feel like you're ugly and fat and you're professing it the person who's going to compliment you is literally going to think the same thing of you they're literally going to compliment you and say you are ugly and fat that's what you're going to be adding on to yourself at this current time in your life because you are not at the time where in your mind you can mentally have the strength to say you know what i'm not these things it's it, it it's a this concept you kind of have to understand right now this is not the time for all this male love and acceptance from guys and validation from guys that's not the time because no one can compliment you the way you want right now because you aren't where you're supposed to be for someone to compliment you you have to be sure in yourself you have to have mental strength you have to be confident you have to love yourself you have to understand your worth there's so much more that needs to be poured into you so that's why you aren't getting the male attention that you want right now you can't expect someone to love you if you don't love yourself and calling yourself a deaf is definitely not self-love other people calling you a deaf and you accepting it is not self-love if someone was to call me a deaf right now i would just walk away because it doesn't affect me i'm not vulnerable in that area in my life i'm not vulnerable in who i am i understand who i am it's a solidified thing that's what you need to be working on now instead of pouring so much energy into this duff thing pour so much energy into bettering yourself molding yourself shaping yourself talking to god contact with god alone time with god intimate time with god let him pour into you what is going to allow you to eventually get out of this season and on to the next one so we've come to the end of the video thank you all so much for watching thank you for sending all my love out to my viewers as well as to the person who emailed me this question i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that everything that was said resonated with you in some way shape or form thank you again my email address and all my other social networks will be in the description box please leave me a comment with some type of request or any questions and i'll definitely get back to you with that being said, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.